Many people believe that the desert is a barren and inhospitable place. However, mammals of all shapes and sizes live in this challenging environment. Today, there are many human-related threats to plants and animals, yet the Sonoran Desert still holds an incredible amount of biological diversity. The Sonoran Desert region contains all major globally recognized biomes, with the exception of tundra. This is the result of a combination of latitude, topography, climate, and elevation range. Many of the mammals that live in the Sonoran Desert can be found in numerous biomes, which is a testament to their adaptability. The Desert Biome Located at the lowest elevations, is home to many species adapted to its extreme heat, dry climate, and sharp vegetation. The endangered kangaroo rat is able to survive without access to open water. The seeds they eat provide enough hydration to sustain their needs. Desert mule deer are known for their large, mule-like ears. They have a black-tipped tail and a white rump. Males grow antlers in the spring, and in the winter, they fall off. Their antlers are used for defense and to attract females. Javelinas also known as collared peccaries, have a tough palate that allows them to eat prickly pear fruits and pads. They have bristly black and white peppered hair that forms a white collar around their neck. Kit foxes are America's smallest wild canine. They are about the size of an adult chihuahua. Large ears give the kit fox excellent hearing and help to lower its body temperature in the desert heat. Much like kangaroo rats, they rarely need to drink water. They can achieve hydration just by eating their prey. Many Sonoran desert mammals are nocturnal, allowing them to avoid being out during the heat of the day. Dusk and dawn are the best times to catch a glimpse of Sonoran desert wildlife. At slightly higher elevations, the thorn scrub biome emerges. Thorn scrub consists of small trees and shrubs with woody plants that can lose their leaves during drought. Southern grasshopper mice are known as the wolves of the mouse world due to their diet of scorpions, lizards, insects, spiders, and other small critters. They are also known for throwing back their heads, standing on their hind legs, and howling. The endangered lesser long-nosed bat has a leaf-shaped nose, a very short tail, and reddish-brown fur. These bats are nocturnal and consume nectar, pollen, and fruits. The blooms of organ pipe cacti, saguaro cacti, and agave make up a majority of their diet. Jackrabbits release body heat efficiently. Like the kit fox, they use their large ears to cool themselves. They have big hind legs that allow them to jump long distances. Despite its name, the jackrabbit is a type of hare. Unlike rabbits, hares are born with fur and sight. Above the thorn scrub biome, semi-desert grasslands begin to occur. The semi-desert grasslands are composed of short and medium-sized warm-season grass species. Pronghorn antelope often reside in the semi-desert grassland biome. They are the fastest long-distance runners in the world. Although cheetahs can run faster over a short distance, pronghorn have greater endurance, allowing them to run fast for longer periods of time. Both males and females have horns. On males, the horns are branched, giving them their distinctive prongs. Pronghorns survive on herbs, cacti, and desert grasses, and often have to compete with cattle for food. Coyotes are one of Earth's most adaptable animals. Both predators and scavengers, they eat almost anything. They can jump up to 13 horizontal feet and clear a 5-foot-tall fence without touching it. They growl and bark like other canines, but are best known for their yips and iconic howls, which identify territories and help pairs or family groups find each other. Higher still in elevation is the woodlands biome. Woodlands are located at mid-elevations in the Sonoran Desert region. This area is occupied by evergreen oaks, pinyon pine, and alligator juniper trees. Black bears can be found in woodland biomes, from northern Mexico all the way up to Canada. They eat a variety of foods, from fruits to small animals. Black bears are good climbers. Their cubs are able to quickly ascend trees for safety. Iconic throughout the Sonoran Desert region, mountain lions are primarily nocturnal and solitary. Mountain lions can jump at least 18 vertical feet and over 40 feet horizontally. Mountain lion cubs have spots until they reach one year of age. 
Thanks to a rotating forearm, the common gray fox is the only canine in North America that is capable of climbing trees. They can move up and down tree trunks head or tail first. Gray foxes are mostly gray, with black tip fur on their backs and tails and a reddish coloration around their face and neck. They are primarily nocturnal and are omnivores, eating meat, fruits, plants, and nuts. Within the woodlands biome, chaparral occurs sporadically. Chaparral terrain can range from sparsely vegetated flats to rocky mountain slopes. It supports plants like shrubs, manzanita, oaks, and cacti. Desert bighorn use their long legs and specialized hooves to climb and jump in steep and precarious areas. They are a smaller subspecies of bighorn sheep and can weigh 200 pounds or more. Male bighorns, or rams, use their distinctive curved brown horns as battle weapons, fighting for dominance and female mating rights. There are four different species of skunk in the Sonoran Desert. Striped, hog-nosed, hooded, and spotted. All skunks are nocturnal and use their greatest weapon when frightened or defending themselves and their territory. This weapon is a spray that skunks produce via scent glands under their tail. Above the woodlands biome, temperate forests emerge. Temperate forests are dominated by pines, spruces, and other conifer trees. Snow is not unusual in this biome during winter months. Bobcats can live in many different biomes, including temperate forests. They are stealthy hunters and are able to catch and eat prey larger than themselves. Bobcats are about twice as large as house cats and receive their name due to their short, bobbed tail. Raccoons den in hollow trees, logs, and burrows. They are expert climbers and are able to open doors and raid garbage cans if given the opportunity. In the wilderness, raccoons are often found around lakes, rivers, and streams, where they hunt in shallow water. Riparian systems can occur in any biome with perennial water. These areas are small but incredibly diverse and productive. However, they are becoming increasingly rare in the desert southwest due to human impacts and climate change. Arizona's state mammal, the ringtail, can be found in riparian systems. These wide-eyed creatures are nocturnal. They can climb vertical walls and, like the gray fox and raccoon, they are able to rotate their back feet. Quaddies are part of the raccoon family. They are found from Argentina to southern Arizona. Quaddies are very adaptable and can retreat up into trees when in danger or to catch food. Like gray foxes and ringtails, they are able to climb down trees head first. All of these mammals are able to live in the challenging environments that make up the Sonoran Desert. However, human impacts affect wildlife and can influence their survival. People have occupied the Sonoran Desert since at least 5,500 BCE. But modern-day urbanization poses special challenges to natural ecosystems and their wild inhabitants. Highways bisect wildlife migration corridors, disrupting access to needed resources and causing danger and death for animals trying to cross. Mining and other extractive industries have a tremendous, long-lasting impact on natural ecosystems. Residential land developments turn habitats into neighborhoods, which decreases biological diversity and limits where mammals can live. The National Park Service protects and promotes stewardship of our natural and cultural resources, including wildlife. You too can help make a difference. There are many nonprofit organizations dedicated to improving conditions for wildlife. These organizations welcome volunteers to assist with projects ranging from simple activities like planting native vegetation to complex projects such as constructing wildlife migration corridors. You can help Sonoran Desert Wildlife by volunteering on public lands or with a local wildlife organization, practicing safe driving, staying informed about local issues that affect wildlife, and voting. Together, we can help these amazing mammals continue to thrive Making a positive difference begins with a single action.